Hello and welcome to podcast number 21. I'm Sangeeta Anjana Kumar and this is Planet Sang. Now today I'm going to be reviewing a Pakistani film called Pinky Memsab. Now how I stumbled about upon this was through Netflix last night I couldn't sleep. So I was just looking through stuff and I saw the poster and looked interesting. So I thought, "Hey, let me check this out." So I did and uh, what I to my um utter pleasure and delight i saw something that was one of the most wonderful pieces of art that i saw and which is why i really feel strongly about reviewing this movie now the film is a very simple tale um about like a socialite who's frustrated a driver a maid a businessman who's chosen the wrong path like it has different characters like a child and his journey then um Uh, you know like a person who had to compromise with her job you know so different different things and uh, the premise is dubai so basically everyone is gone to dubai and um, they're all living their lives uh, respective respectively and how they the characters go through what they're going through and they evolve into better human beings okay that's that really sums up the whole movie a uh, beautiful concept beautiful writing shazia ali khan um otherwise i don't really know people like directors names um de- this is my second pakistani movie so definitely uh it's big for me to even go and google and find out who this director was because it's that good now uh the actors are kiran Ma- malik who plays meher a beautifully essayed role of a writer who was successful before marriage frustrated um because she's living in the shadow of her rich husband uh she wants to fly but she's unable to and she's caught in a prison of her life sounds like most how most married women sometimes feel um santosh is well meher is pakistani santosh is an uh, indian driver and he's from up and loving loving sweet loving character just love the the way this movie has depicted in like in indian and i will come back to this talking about how pakistanis depict um indians and how indians depict pakistanis but um more about this later but and then adnan the the actor who played santosh is sunny hinduja and then of course hasan uh, meher's husband is played by adnan uh, you know jafar and um, he plays the you know hardcore ambitious businessman who um really seems very um un like heartless but he has shades of you know a- and elements where he does have a heart so very complex characters and then of course the you know the title is pinky memes up so the the whole story revolves around pinky who is uh, played by hajra yamin beautiful woman uh, she plays uh, the naive uh, sweet a girl from the village who comes into a city and transforms from being a village belle into a very modern woman who's still st- grappling with morality and the way people are so uh, of course there are other characters and you know that's all very beautiful and uh, shazia ali khan has also written this with um, uh, s- uh with someone else but she's directed this uh, movie and I just i have i have rarely seen um uh generally in movies you you don't see uh, people embrace um characters for the struggles that they have you embrace stereotypes so you embrace the popular idea of who the person is and then whatever struggles they have however in this movie actually the struggle of a character is the hero uh slash heroine uh which is kind of beautiful like i really love the the fact that you know how um M- meher uh, overcomes her um complexes as a socialite wife and really becomes the writer that she is and not writing for a purpose like you know publishing her second book but writing for the sake of writing you know uh, after her father says so beautiful um like morals and really s- um fighting social stigmas as well like you know the role of a servant and how do we treat our servants and uh if if a person serves you for years and if you you know like can you like even that beautiful scene where the father adopts 
the servant um, as his daughter because she had served um, his ex uh, second wife well and you know just beautiful elements of um, cinematic artistry has been you know weaved through this film to talk about uh, the struggles the characters like even Hassan the husband the you know business entrepreneur business guy who seems very hardcore workaholic doesn't care about the kid wife um, you know, you see glimpses of him giving money, saying, don't tell my wife, it's okay, just take the money, you know, that, and and how um, he, you know, then later on, he, you find out that all he wants to do is please her, but he's not able to express it, the, the wife, and um, eventually you find out that his dream was actually playing tennis, and all he really wanted to do was play tennis, and then as time goes by how his son struggles with tennis and how his son sees his father play tennis and beautifully done like uh, I felt like the roles the diaspora was so wide it was taking care of the different characters and their issues and their um, problems and how each character was having resolution uh, by the end of the movie it's like the ideal um, pick me up movie like you want to feel great about your life you watch this movie and then it's it's so feel good but it's not like uh, a non-reality film so um, I'm gonna go on so like uh, Santosh the driver is Indian and uh, he's a very happy-go-lucky uh, guy and he really likes Pinky and Pinky is this uh, maid who was rejected by her husband because she couldn't have children and she has to go to Dubai and become a maid and uh, you know how she her heart is to serve her heart is to love her heart is to give um, and she does that and she's like the purest character throughout the movie but how she also begins to realize that life is not life is a bit messy um, her one of her cousins is actually she's like a bar dancer but you know the, the actually that scene was very beautiful so uh, her cousin sister who was otherwise she ran away because of a guy and all that uh, works in a parlor quote unquote like a salon so um, she, of course Pinky thinks she's working in a very legitimate uh, salon and she wants a job but it's actually a place where they they it's like a dance bar where they dance to like Bollywood favorites. So there's a beautiful scene where he, her sister is dancing in a Sri Devi outfit for her clients. And that's when Pinky first sees her and realizes that, oh, this is what her career is. Uh, you know, in fact, this is what the reality is. And I remember so beautifully, like Shazi Ali Khan has um, beautifully got Pinky into the, in, into the booth. And she's staring at her and uh, with her eyes confronting her. But her friend, uh, her, sorry, her sister sees her, acknowledges her, but continues dancing because it's her job. Now, if you had cut and paste this scene in a Hindi film, they would be like, dadan, dadan, dadan. and more importantly, the dancer would have stopped her work and gone and not been professional. But the way Shazia expresses this is, this is my job. Even if you don't approve of it, I just have to do it. Which is sometimes the state in international, like, you know, in, like, people coming from um, third world cultures, second world cultures, coming into like a rich place where they're getting opportunities. It's about the job. It's about the money they earn. It's about keeping their head, heads afloat. So all this really beautifully comes together in a film uh, called Pinky Memsab. And um, I, I really think it could have been named something like... Um, life in a I mean not life in a metro but that that is the kind of of course this is set in Dubai so it's an international um, setting and it really it, it's beautiful because it talks about how you know like I was in boarding and we we were we were in a school called Woodstock and we always everyone hated other schools right so we would we would not like the Weinberg students or the St. George students or the Wellam students or the Dune students because they were like our enemies in sports gatherings uh, so when they would come up we would be like boo I mean we weren't so bad but uh, but we would be cheering for our own schools and um, however when I graduated and came to Xavier's some of my first friends were from Wellams and Dunes and I used to joke saying I can't believe I'm friends with the person from Dune school because the fact was that I would never be caught dead speaking to a person from Dune similarly when you go abroad you don't look at the fact that the person is Indian or Pakistani or Bangladeshi or Afghani or uh, you know whichever race you're from 
the fact is your professional your roommates your housemates your colleagues and you just you're there for the work and you do the work so i felt like this project was so much more international than i have ever seen um come up from our subcontinent you know like the approach was looking at life the realities of life rather than the picture that we'd like to um show the world shazia ali khan has not pretended about um anything she's just shown like the the socialite woman she smokes and she's um you know she she likes wearing high heels she likes going out she likes partying but she also likes to go in the room and write you know her poetry her thoughts so very very nice of course socially very strong very moral like talking about accepting um maids and not like demolishing the divide of class and you know uh that beautiful scene where uh meher's father accepts uh the servant's daughter as his own um after you know the adopted mother dies and again done very subtly very subtly this is this is no hindi film you know this is beautifully subtly with uh, such romance when i say romance i mean like just like gently uh expressed through the characters and their acting um now talking about l- the fact that it's a pakistani film now i have seen two pakistani films now uh, first was tista which was out and out commercial like fun comedy it was super like i really enjoyed it um this one is completely different now i have not actually grown up watching pakistani shows or i i know their comedy shows were a big hit in india and they actually started a trend here however i have actually not really been exposed to um Pakistani cinema and I I think after seeing Pinky Mem Sahib I'm going to be checking out a lot more Pakistani uh cinema because I find their language their you know th- what what would you say like their lihaz the you know the way they are expressing themselves so poetic and artistic this is what is missing in our in uh, Indian films Indian films are dramatic and also your your um targeting your all movies are targeted to the north they're not targeted to the softness you know they're not targeted to artists uh like you know n- I, maybe they are uh, targeted to artists but like you would have a rare film like a gully boy that really captures the soul and the aesthetic of the city however most films are just like ugh you know they're just too over the top too dramatic too you know in your face and i i really feel like there's a lot we can learn from pakistani cinema and indian cinema and yes at the risk of getting trolls to really destroy me here i i do have to say i was so ashamed at, of our indian cinema in the way that they project pakistan pakistanis in films because in films in our hindi films every time a pakistani appears in the movie he's either a terrorist or he's like a evil person or even in a current johar world the pakistani guy is the one who leaves the heroine he does not you know he's not a good guy so the, we are not we are playing with the political idea of pakistan is not our friend pakistan is not our brother but the fact is that's not true now here's what i love about pinky mem sab is that one of the most endearing characters written in the movie is an indian character santosh who's the driver is the one who uh is really the guy who navigates pinky through the the film helps her aids her you know and this is such a positive like i felt so happy to be in indian when i watched pinky mem sab because i felt like wow you know indians are so nice because shazia ali khan was projecting an indian with such beauty and kindness and love you know sunny uh, hinduja the actor uh, who is actually the love interest of pinky who um who is not ex- like he is plutonic like it's literally like a dil hai mushkil so it's one sided love but uh, you know pinky says you're my best friend and that scene where sunny and um uh sunny and uh, hajra are sitting on the beach pinky and santosh are sitting on the beach and he says now i have to leave and i have to take care of my child and i may get married and she you know like uh pinky subtly just cries and says but you're my best friend and you know there's love but you know that um you know pinky doesn't see him that way and pinky's um desires are more of you know knowing herself discovering herself building 
making herself into somebody because she's done all that she's done the love she's done the divorce she's done all the rejection that she had to do now it's about making something out of her life so it's really beautiful i i'm so proud of our uh, brothers and sisters in pakistan uh, for making such quality cinema and i really feel like we can learn a lot from them and uh, i really want to s- like i'm so grateful for netflix for really making it possible because in india you'd never never see a theatrical release of any pakistani film which is so wrong because all art all theater all music all everything is should be interchanged it should not be uh, banned because of oh you get more work you don't get more work are the the ta- if the talent is there the appreciation should be there so at the risk of being trolled it's okay i love this film it's a pakistani film and i'm proud of it and yes a lot of mainstream hindi filmmakers could learn a thing or two from this movie is it the most um spectacular cinema ever made in the world no of course there's always learning there's always tightening there's always dragging there's always all these things that you can tweak but that doesn't matter what it matters is the characterizations the treatment the theme the story the writing and in in my opinion pinky meme sab is rock solid when it comes to those things you have your uh, hubri you have your catharsis you have those moments where you realize you know it's it's like i'm i'm like total fan so yeah I, on that that's my review of pinky memes app it's a must watch it's on netflix so if you have netflix you can find it there um yeah so it released in 2018 so even if i've given spoilers i haven't given that many spoilers but um it's it's a lovely film like i i even like that uh that the sto- like it's basically got like five stories intermingled with uh, like intertwined with each other and even that story of hasan the husband of meher the socialite uh, desiring to do something beyond business you know like that's actually what we're discovering that a lot of businessmen a lot of people who are running after money actually their core heart was uh, following their dreams but they weren't allowed to and then once you get married you're always focused on earning for the family we never think about the man's perspective in this we only see the woman is trapped in her marriage but what about the man being trapped in the provision part of the marriage why can't he pursue his dreams so it's almost like this film really emancipates women and men who are trapped and really looks very deeply at that uh, are men trapped within the roles that they are forced to play um you know is is the simplest job being actually you would think the simplest job is uh, sunny's uh, santosh's job because he's a happy go lucky driver who says what he wants to say with a smile on his face you know so i think pinky mem sab is a must watch it's it will open your uh, open your mind to um, pakistani cinema and and talking about tista like tista is like hardcore commercial it's like watching um, you know salman film or a uh, sharukh film or you know those blockbuster but tista was also cool my favorite thing about pakistani films is the language um the language is so beautiful actually so when i was a kid i learned hindustani and hindustani was a combination of urdu and hindi so you would hear a lot of urdu in my language because we l- everything was one nothing was divided that uh, you know now the language is more like uh, you know up bihar because you know everything is targeted towards that audience this movie is not targeted to that this movie can be watched and and appreciated by anybody in the world like anybody uh, who watches this will identify with at least three characters which i feel is one of the finest things that cinema can do so that was my review of the pakistani film on netflix pinky meme sab and yes i'm a proud indian i love my country too but i am proud of my brothers and sisters in pakistan i love their art i love their culture and i want i i'm so proud that they are also um at par with everybody else in the world in developing their craft and art so um yeah that's my uh, take on uh, this lovely film pinky meme sub and must watch must see and 
if an Indian director or an Indian producer is listening to this podcast, which I'm sure you're not, but if you are, then please let's project our Pakistani friends um, in a non-political light. Don't don't give in to these political rampages, which are really done for votes. Um, everyone has feelings. If they are good people they are also bad people if they are bad people they are also good people I know plenty of Indians who are bad I know plenty of um, you know criminals every place every country even Switzerland has criminals I am sure they, their jails are much better than India but what I am saying is that humans like it's a human being is good and bad and the least we can do is support and love those who are our enemies um, that we think are our enemies but they are not they are our brothers so and sisters so um, yes uh, so on that very patriotic note uh, I would say being an Indian is also loving those around us um, and so on that loving and uh, uh, you know uh, everybody bhai bhai ben ben um, note this is Sangeeta Angela Kumar loving Pinky Mem Sab uh, on Netflix and must watch it must check it out and uh, that's all f- I have for you right now this is episode number 21 on Planet Sang I'll catch you for my next podcast soon bye